Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberhack. I am in the middle of trying to figure out what the hell am I supposed to be doing right now? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. AI and in cybersecurity. I want to share a little quick story about how I've utilized AI in my day-to-day -day operational stuff as a cybersecurity professional or cybersecurity engineer. I was able to deliver my projects, um, my operational task, pretty efficiently and pretty much on time every single time I have met my goals. And I can honestly say I have done all that because I utilize AI. Uh, whatever the platform was, whatever I used it for, it was able to help me produce a lot of things, um, you know, without sharing too much information. Uh, I was able to kind of put together the pieces. I asked unprompted the right questions and framed it the way I wanted to. And it, it was able to put, you know, put together presentations. It was able to put together uh, documents for me and I ran with it. It definitely is something that is possible. I was also able to, you know, kind of just put all those ideas together to get what I needed to make my deliverables, to meet my deliverables. And I think that's where everyone is leading into right now. So, you know, there's always that big discussion about AI is replacing these humans. Um, they're automating everything. Yes and no. The automation has to be done by someone and AI can't do that on its own. But there is a counter argument to that where the individuals or the humans do configure that. And once it's automated, that team is definitely let go. I have heard of that as well. But you can't just configure it once and then let go of the team that manages it. I mean, they, they still need to take care and maintain support it in many, many ways. So I don't see how that's going to be possible for these organizations to let go of people who actually configured the automation within AI, whether it's like for the SOC, SIMS, uh, vulnerabilities and things like that, where it's automated, uh, where it targets and, and helps assist with doing things, uh, you know, remediating things. There still needs to that component of a human being uh, managing the tools, right? The the hammer is not going to hammer itself and, and build the house together. Uh, their possibility may be a, you know, machine or a robot doing these uh, redundant tasks. That's a possibility, but I feel like that's a really uh, long shot from where we are today. I don't think robots will be taking over our employment now. Um, not to say that it won't, I think it eventually it might. Uh, I believe I've seen an article, and I believe it is real. Uh, Twenty thousand dollars, you can get a robot to like a robot housemaid, a humanoid kind of person, uh, you know, doing house chores. Now that's awesome because that sounds more practical than taking over techni technological jobs or any jobs that may require more s skills. Now, we also have seen uh, hospitals or robotics doing surgery. Now, the precision, the cutting, the sewing, I could understand that as well. Uh, there's definitely pros and cons to everything. But, I mean, who's going to be the guinea pig? And, of course, there's always going to be a guinea pig somewhere, right? We have been guinea pigs all our lives, uh, testing new technology and uh, sitting through what we're going through, everything that that exists now, right? Uh, you know, just different foods and, and different technology, different things that happen throughout the world. Uh, everything that's in production right now, someone had to be a guinea pig, obviously. So what is my point? My point is that AI is definitely a tool to be utilized by human beings. Now, I have used it. I didn't get replaced by one, but there are a lot of counter people or counter arguments that, you know, AI has replaced individuals for lesser roles, uh, roles that are pretty redundant, that shouldn't require a human or does not require a human to do anything. Uh, you know, where the, the robots and the machines have definitely advanced to the level of automating a lot of this stuff. 
I agree. So that's why what I'm saying is that in cybersecurity, AI has to be protected the same way. Vulnerabilities, patching, upgrades, updates, and things like that. We as cybersecurity professionals and you as cybersecurity professional or trying to get into the career is you need to understand AI, all aspects of it. No ifs and buts, right? You have to understand what AI is. I know there's a whole technological group that focuses on AI, but then as cybersecurity professionals, we have to be the ones who are either one auditing it or configuring it, updating it and supporting it. So that's where I feel like AI and cybersecurity is definitely going to join at the hips. Now, I also have said that you know, cybersecurity jobs are definitely saturated right now or cybersecurity professionals as skill sets, we have to shift our knowledge over to AI. And unfortunately, a lot of the people who have graduated from cybersecurity professional, uh, cybersecurity programs from colleges a year or two ago, probably didn't speak much on AI as we are now because it's advanced even more so uh, within the last year or two. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you plan on getting into this career or staying in this career, you really have to jump on top of this AI stuff. Like there's no other way around it, right? So uh, stay tuned for other videos. I'm gonna speak more on this for sure. And I want to be able to kind of help you along the way, you know, formatting your resume and doing things like that. You know, you could hit me up, look at the description, go to cyberhack.io, cyberhack.com. I got full details there. Reach out to me and I'll speak to you guys again really soon. Take care.